Hey guys, I just decided to make this uh, short little video on uh, how I make sushi and how I make my rice balls. Now, um, for starters, everybody asks me what kind of rice they buy. Now, I personally buy half of my groceries at the Asian market, so I actually buy my rice at the Asian market. However, you could use jasmine rice too. Um, this is Wee Chun rice. Sorry if I'm slaughtering the way you say the word, but that's what it sounds like. And about another bag. So, I personally use three cups, and this is the type of little cup I use, just a little mug. However, you can be precise if you want, but if you know me, you know that Lynette does not measure. It's against my religion. So, I filled up my steamer with the rice. Uh, and like I said, this is three cups of rice. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wash the rice. I use lukewarm water and you're going to want to wash it until the water isn't cloudy anymore. I will demonstrate what I'm talking about. Okay, now I have left the water in there because we basically got the kind of color that we want the water to be. We don't want it to be all murky. I'm just tying up my hair real quick. Okay, so as you can see, the water is basically transparent. Um, you're not going to want the water to be too far from the rice, so about that much water. If you put too much water, your rice is going to come out all mushy, and we don't want that. So, I got this steamer at Walmart for like $15. Wonderful investment. Oh, it would be nice if it were plugged in. Ha ha ha. Okay, so our rice is done. It's all steamy. And you know you've done it right when there's no water um, floating on the top of the rice. If there was like water and stuff in here, you know that you put way too much water in there. And if that were the case, you would just have to re-steam it again. You basically don't want to see any water. And here's our delicious rice. So now we have to transfer our rice. So. Right, so we're just gonna get our rice, put it in the bowl. Simple as that. Okay, and I have right here rice vinegar, and this is what you need to put in your sushi. You could buy it at, well, of course, like I said, I bought this at the Asian market, but you can really buy this anywhere. I'm just gonna. And now what we're going to want to do is we're just going to lightly incorporate the rice. Now don't smash it because then it's going to turn to mush. You want to just gently incorporate all the rice vinegar that we we're putting in there. Okay, so we're going to let this cool over here. Alright, in the meantime I can show you how to do everything else. Now right here I cut up a whole avocado. I took the skin off, just diced it. Um, then you're gonna need to get your cucumbers. Now I don't have any cucumber at the time but I also love substituting zucchini with cucumber. So I got these two things cut up. You're gonna need a large knife, your bamboo mat, this is for the rice balls. 
Um, you can have um, sesame seeds to put on top, but I like using um, this rice seasoning right here. There are different kinds of furikake. I have several. And uh, mayonnaise, and your seaweed, and the crab. So I'm going to start making the filling that's going to go inside our rice balls and our sushi. Okay, so what I'm going to want to add to my crab, like I said, you could use real crab, you could use imitation crab, or you could use canned tuna. You're going to get a little bit of mayonnaise. I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Now this is entirely up to you, but I don't like my um, crab to be too watery or too mushy, so I leave it to three tablespoons. And then you add as much wasabi as you want. Like I said, I like to put a lot of wasabi in it because I like it spicy, so this is up to you. You could also add um, spicy brown mustard if you don't like wasabi, or you could leave it out. And now we mix it all up. You want to make sure to get rid of the, the green globs of wasabi. You don't want to have them concentrated because then it's going to be really spicy. If the crab gets a little too thick or you're having a hard time mixing it, then that's the sign that you need to add a little bit more mayonnaise. So right here, I'm just going to put half a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Your seaweed. Okay, when you get it, it's going to be really super shiny on one side and then dull on the other side. You're going to want to put the shiny part, this part, you're going to want to face it down on your mat. Now the fillings that I have are for a California roll, but I don't have any plastic wrap and you need plastic wrap in order to make the sushi with the rice outside. Um, my family doesn't care, neither do I, so right now I'm just going to make a regular sushi roll, but filled with California roll toppings, or not toppings, fillings, there you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wet my hands and I'm going to start putting the rice onto the seaweed sheet. So again, make sure that your fingers are wet and you just start um, smashing the rice, or not smashing, but spreading the rice over your seaweed, like so. If you'll notice, uh, your hands get really um, sticky with rice. That's why you have to have a little bowl of water next to you or you need to have the water running in your sink so that you can keep your hands nice and wet because after a while, um, it starts getting really sticky to handle the rice. Okay, so you're just going to want to keep a little bit of space between here and on the bottom. You will see later. Now we just start placing in all our ingredients.
you want to keep your uh, ingredients more towards this side and also you don't want to put too much of it because then your roll's going to pop. And now we're going to flip the roll. We're basically going to take it over and we're going to tuck it in right here. And then we're just going to keep rolling it. So you tuck it in and you squeeze this and you pull it towards you. Lift this up and you keep rolling it. So here we have our roll, ta-da, and now you're going to need to wet your knife. And then you're going to softly and gently cut your roll. Don't smush down on it. Look how pretty. And there we have it. Now this is just one roll. But don't they look yummy and tasty? And to finish them off, um, you can put a little bit of soy sauce on them. I also like putting eel sauce. I like drizzling them with eel sauce and then soy sauce. And I will show you next how to do the same thing, but with the rice ball. So you're gonna wanna get your little rice ball makers. You're gonna wanna wet both sides, the top part and the bottom part. Top part, bottom part. Now you're going to want to fill the bottom part halfway. Same thing until you got something like that. See? And now in the middle, we'll fill what we want. So, have a little bit of avocado. and a little bit of our crab filling. Again, don't stuff these too much because then they'll leak from the sides. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now you're gonna put rice on top. And then when you have rice on top, we're gonna take the top, the little lid, and we're gonna smash it down. And now we're gonna put our seaweed around it. I got one sheet of nori and I just um, cut them into little strips. And now we're gonna wrap the strips around the rice balls. Put the shiny side against the rice balls. and the seaweed will stick to the rice right away, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. Let's get a little plate for these guys. And there you have it, guys. It's really simple. I think the hardest thing is just getting the ingredients, and honestly, all you gotta do is just find a nice um, Asian market. I go to the one on Dyer, it's called Arilang Mart. Uh, if you guys want, I'll share a link for their store and I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.